Hello, my name is Linda Wasselsu, also known as L.M. Wasselsu and or Professor Scry. And I'm going to tell you a bit about marketing through social media. Everything about the way people become known and connected has drastically changed since the digital world took over. And with the rise of social media networks, it's the place to be, or at least begin. The world of technology has opened up a new way to market to a vast and growing audience, all from the convenience of your home, and it's virtually free. There are dozens of social media networks out there, and it's up to you to decide which best work for you. Then once you've made that decision, consider the key factors that will bring you to the forefront. Number one, words. Everything that happens online is word associated. Keywords and ad words are only a few terms and it all begins with whatever words are typed into a search box. And remember that it's not always about getting thousands of visitors to your site. It's about getting the right visitors to your site. Number two, images or oh, virtual marketing is more popular than ever and tweets with images are more likely to be retweeted, liked or shared than those without. So if you're promoting your books, show the cover. You've earned it. Or you might want to combine your post with a video, making it even more powerful. Number three, be aware of colors. Blue then green are the most appealing online colors to both men and women. Number four, headlines. There is absolutely no doubt that a captivating headline gets their attention. Good headlines are short. Use words and phrases that entice people. And if the content is good, people will read your tweet or Facebook. They might even share it. And that's what this is all about. Number five, hashtags are a must if you're posting to Twitter which means putting the hash or the pound sign in front of a, a word or phrase. And if you're using more than one word, run the words together. For example, hashtag forgiveness be damned is written with no spaces. Hashtags can double the engagement of your tweet, but one hashtag per post is more than enough. Number six, timing is important. Each social media platform has its peak times and it's most important to post when your followers are online. Number seven, Facebook ranks by the amount of engagement. Therefore, if you have more fans, then you will appear higher on the newsfeed. Number eight, persistence always wins. Don't give up. One share isn't enough to promote anything. And just because an article didn't stimulate engagement that first time, it's no reason not to ever share it again. If, it's, if it was worth posting the first time, redesign it, dress it up. People want to see something new, maybe even use different images to create a different message and link back to the same blog content. Number nine, hold the promotions. View social media as a way to build long-term relationships. If you've just launched a new book and you want to do a book giveaway on, on Facebook, do it. That's okay. Give, your, give a book to your friends. They deserve it. But don't expect them to buy it. It's not all about the sale. That's not what social media is about. Annoying companies or individuals who promote, 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 they turn people off and you might have even unfollowed them yourself. The key is to keep connected. Become a resource of information. Connect with your audience and talk to them. Keep that line of communication open.